Hey guys, come with me to explore Morea, my new favorite place in the world, which is located in the French Polynesia. Today we're going to be snorkeling because snorkeling is the best here in the French Polynesia. We first started off our day by tendering and, and heading to the port, which took about five minutes. And oh my gosh, the scenery is just gorgeous on your way in. When we got there, we were greeted by the locals with their national flower, which is the Tahitian gardenia. There was also dancers, musicians, and so many shops and, and different souvenirs you could choose from. And they were all handmade. And everything was just so beautiful. And the people there were super nice. There's also places you could buy local food. Right outside all of those shops was a church and you can hear their Sunday church service. And Maddie and I decided to get our own flower crowns and these are called Haze and they are just so beautiful and they were handmade. It was just so amazing. So we had to take pictures of course. And then while I was taking pictures, I saw a stingray. I really felt like I was in my Moana era. After hanging around that beach, it was time to head onto our first boat. And oh my gosh, it is just so cute. This is a traditional canoe and it is just so much fun to ride around and see the beautiful island and just watch as the water changes throughout our journey. For today's glass, bottom boat equal tour we will be doing it with captain tyena who is the first woman captain on her island which i think is pretty amazing and you know girl power so we first arrived to this island which belongs to her and it is just so beautiful there's fish everywhere and just beautiful water and it's super shallow so it's really nice to just walk around and have a good time and here's my dad having the best time and then i took some amazing photos while we were waiting for our lunch they set up the plates for us and the plates were just so cute and then they had some pineapple rum and they were setting up the kebabs for us we had chicken and swordfish and when they would spread the sauce they would use a leaf it was then time for them to teach us how to make poisson cru which in english means raw fish this just comes with raw fish fermented coconut milk lime onion and salt and pepper all served in this cute coconut and then they gave us a local beer to try and we cheers to an amazing day and then i ate some white rice got my chicken kebab and then got this secret sauce bread and then got the swordfish kebab and oh my gosh everything was so good we then ended the meal with fruit and we got pineapple papaya and banana with coconut now it's time to clean up the Polynesian waste. We took our skewer and our napkin and threw it in the grill. We then got the skin of the coconut, which is like that hard, rough stuff on the outside, grabbed our plate and headed to the water where we used it to get the food off and all the fish came up to eat all the food. It was so much fun and a great way to get everyone involved. And it was also a way to help them clean the dishes. Now it's time to begin our snorkeling and we are in a glass bottom boat. So it was super cool going around and seeing insanely clear blue water as we were heading to our first destination. And that was to the turtle sanctuary. And the captain of this company actually started this turtle sanctuary to freely keep the turtles safe from harm's way because people do hunt them for money, even those who live on the island. So when we got into the water, they said we were doing lazy snorkeling, and that is where we held onto this rope that was connected to the boat, and they drove us around slowly to see all the coral and the amazing turtles that are all around us. So we didn't get to really see them up close, but we got to see them from down below and when they came up for air. Now it's time to head to our next destination, which is a sandbar full of stingrays and black tip sharks. And guys, this was my favorite part of the day. It was so much fun to see all of the stingrays and all of the sharks coming around. And it was really cool that we got to be so close to them. so amazing being so close to those animals now it's time to head to our last stop which is full of tiki statues Daniela kept finding all the coolest stuff underwater and then it was unfortunately time for us to head back to the port and I didn't want to leave but I'm hoping to come back one day and stay longer because it is just so beautiful here. Thank you so much to Captain Taina's team for the best day. You guys are all amazing.